A community in mourning today after the loss of a historic Methodist church during a night filled with fires. The small city of Cotton Plant saw three fires, all of them on Sunday night. Katrin Asaf is there now with how the community is trying to heal. Katrin. Kevin, this is all that's left of this nearly 112 year old structure. This is the United Methodist Church in Cotton Plant, and it was one of three buildings that burned Sunday night, all within yards of each other. Now, two of those structures were abandoned homes, but one has more meaning than just a few walls. This, the neighbors of Cotton Plant will never forget. Two fires burning just feet away from each other. One doom structure, a church. My first reaction was just overwhelming grief. Melanie Tubbs was there Sunday night, watching as flames engulfed her church. She held a service there only hours before, and now watched as it collapsed. We had no idea Sunday morning that that would be the last worship service we ever got to have in our building. Two days later, the falling ashes are replaced by petals. The ruins, a reminder of what once was. It was like a historic landmark. Nikita Thomas grew up here. Although not a congregant, she joined Tubbs for a prayer service held in the building's smoldering shadow. My first initial thought was just that who would burn a church? It saddened, saddens me to just see that somebody would do this. A sadness shared by many. God is with you. But also a hope that from the ashes rises a new start. Cotton Plant may be a small community, but the reach of the Cotton Plant United Methodist Church is very large. And a testament to a community grieving, but still together. Amen and amen. Now, a number of different agencies are still investigating the cause and motive of these three fires, including the Cotton Plant Fire Department, the Woodruff County Sheriff's Office, Arkansas State Police, and the ATF, all on scene trying to figure out exactly what caused these fires and why they were started, if they were started in the first place. Now, we don't have that much information in terms of ongoing uh, investigations, but we were told by a bystander that this all seemed very suspicious. Now, in terms of the congregation, they will continue their services in that fellowship hall right behind the remains of their church. Reporting in Cotton Plant, Katrin Asaf, back to you. 